There is something about anime that is special and near to my heart. Whether it's the characters, the music, the story, etc., there is something that stands above all. My name is Bugsy, and this video is going to be a little bit more different from the normal video essays that I create. This one will be a little bit more heartfelt, so excuse me if this seems a little bit different than normal. So, what is this video about, you may ask? Let's talk about how to write the perfect message in anime. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to join the Discord channel. Link is in the description and in the pinned comment. From the hundreds of animes, different genres, and even characters, there is one commonality between all of them, the message. While every message in anime is not the same, every anime does have a message. Some more playful than others, but more have a deeper and more serious message than another one. From the shonen genre, we typically have a hero defeat enemies with the power of friendship or hard work. Shonen is a genre that appeals to a younger audience. Therefore, the importance of working hard and not being lazy is going to be preached. Looking at other medias such as Star Wars, DC, Marvel, etc., they all have interesting messages or themes. Star Wars message being political and showing the similarities between Germany during World War II, the United States during Vietnam, etc. In Star Wars, there are themes regarding fear and negative emotion. Yoda during Episode 1 tells Anakin, Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. The little green alien said nothing but facts. As a kid, you'll think, oh, Yoda is being silly for talking backwards. But as an adult, you look at it differently, mainly due to it being true in our adult life. Similar in Dragon Ball Z, as kids, we all love Goku and could not stand Vegeta. As a teenager or adult, you start to see Vegeta's point of view and even become sentimental. One of my favorite things about anime is how so many different themes and lessons are portrayed in a memorable fashion. For those who don't know, my top five animes are Samurai Champloo, Dragon Ball Z, Cowboy Bebop, Yu Yu Hakusho, and Mob Psycho 100. Not just because of how peak the music and characters are, but the message that they portray. In my opinion, any anime or media that does not have a message is a waste. So Bugsy, what messages in anime have impacted you the most? Let's talk about the samurai who smells the sunflowers and the space cowboy. Samurai Champloo and Cowboy Bebop are two animes that have legitimately changed my life. Two animes that focus on the journey and not the results. Discovering both of these animes in college was pivotal to how I developed into an adult. I was so focused on the results. I would neglect the journey or pay it no mind, which I feel is a very common story with adults. As adults, we are so caught up in reaching the finish line, we do not enjoy the journey that comes along with it. A couple of specific moments in Samurai Champloo that impacted me were Mugen confronting his past and Jin falling in love. Mugen confronting his past spoke to me because it was something that I needed to do myself. Mugen seeing the former gang he ran with, betrayed by Kuzo, and finally releasing the past that held him for so long. In the scene where Mugen has an opportunity to kill Kuzo, he does not because that is exactly what she wants. For myself, confronting the past is something that I needed to do but continue to ignore. Yet, ignoring the past has done some damage to the present I wish it had not. Maybe one day I'll confront the past so I can move forward in the future. Jin's story of falling in love with someone he could not have hurts a lot. Many men in life have fumbled at least one woman who could have been considered the love of their life. Then they ponder off for a couple of years, then one day the realization that the woman who loved them unconditionally through rain or snow was no longer there for them, it hurts. A pain that I would not want anyone to deal with. Uh -huh. Bugsy, it sounds like you were speaking from personal experience. Pain is all I feel. Jin did everything in his power to free her from her debt and tried to run away with her, but realized that was not the right thing to do. With the woman leaving, she turns around to say, maybe one day we can be together. I remember watching Samurai Champloo for the first time and getting to the last episode with sadness. I did not want the journey of Fu, Mugen, and Jin to end. In fact, I refused to watch the final episode. I was so sad that the journey ended, but then my sadness turned to happiness when I thought about how I got to witness the journey along with the group. Very similar to how I felt watching Cowboy Bebop. 
but I didn't feel joy when the end came near. In fact, all I felt was pain. Deep sorrow and pain is all I felt regarding Spike Spiegel. Cowboy Bebop is a journey where we are witnessing the final days of an insanely dope character. One thing that Cowboy Bebop does really well is make every character important. Spike, Jet, Faye, Ed and Ayn were all very important characters with their own story which impacted the story. Spike loses a woman he loves and cannot forget about, betrayed by a gang and eventually loses the crew that cared about him the most. Jet is a character that I like a lot because he learned from the pains of the past. A quote that resonated with me for a while is said by Jet. He says, Men only think about the past right before their death, as if they were searching frantically for proof that they were alive. The reason why this quote resonates with me is that I have only thought about the past when shit goes wrong. If life is going well, then what is the point of looking towards the past? Nothing. We only look towards the past when we want to remember how good life was. Cowboy Bebop shares many of the themes of Samurai Champloo, which makes sense because they are written by the same person, but shown in a darker tone. Two aspects of Cowboy Bebop that stuck with me are the messages at the end of the episodes and the speech Faye gives to Spike before he leaves to kill Lucius. Her desperation and realization of Spike's message in her life is haunting. All for Spike to say, I'm not going there to die. I'm going to find out if I'm really alive. Which somehow I resonate with that one liner. I think a lot of people do things just to feel something, whether it's a good or bad feeling. One of my favorite ending messages in Cowboy Bebop is you are going to carry that weight, which is so, so important in my personal life. The message is to cover all aspects in life. We all are carrying some level of weight, whether it's past relationships, trauma, Hell, even in the present. The point is you're going to carry that weight and you need to learn how to navigate through it and survive. Cowboy Bebop and Saramai Champloo are beautiful stories that I highly recommend for people to watch. Now, let's talk about the message of a young kid with a tail who turns into the greatest mortal in the universe. Excuse me, the strongest mortal in the universe. Dragon Ball Z is one of the most influential animes in the world. Yes, I truly believe that because many people have been inspired by the protagonist, Goku. Every character in Dragon Ball conveys a message that will affect certain individuals. Goku inspired you to work hard and follow your goals. Vegeta inspired you to believe in your pride and not allow anyone to surpass you, etc. One of my favorite messages from Dragon Ball comes from Master Roshi training Goku and Krillin. He tells the boys, Work hard, study well, and eat and sleep plenty. That's the turtle hermit way to learn. And man, that is a lesson that I try to live by. I love this message because it teaches the importance of balance in life, which is why in the anime, Goku has always surpassed Vegeta because of this lesson. While I love Vegeta because of his pride and arrogance and how he refuses to be second forever, his inability to balance is one of his downfalls. The lesson Roshi teaches is one that I hope all people can apply to their lives. Too often we are imbalanced often hyper-focused on one responsibility while completely neglecting the other ones, which can often cause us to feel stress and feel like nothing is getting accomplished or there isn't enough time in a day. Wow. Yep, that sounds pretty accurate to my life. Once many of us start working 40 hours a week, begin college, or take on adult responsibilities, we tend to forget about having fun. As an adult, I've started to go back and enjoy the things I loved as a kid, whether it's watching Star Wars, watching new animes, or even just doing fun stuff. I recommend whoever watches this video to take time out of their day or week to do something they loved as a kid. Dragon Ball Z has inspired many to go to the gym to get strong like Goku or even earn his physique. Many of my favorite content creators are Dragon Ball Z fans and they were inspired by the anime. There are many messages that I have glimpsed over because I've talked about a lot of the messages regarding specific characters in my video essays. I highly recommend you check those out to see what themes your favorite character may represent. Now, let's talk about one of my favorite main characters and the message of the anime. Yes, Mob Psycho 100, in my opinion, has one of the greatest main characters in all of anime. Yes, Shigo Mob Kagayama is a phenomenal main character for many reasons. One of the reasons being how relatable he is to teenagers and even adults. Mob Kagayama is a character who was given psychic powers but does not excel at what he wants to be good at. He is terrible in school, talking to women, and physically weak. Yes, 
There are people who I know that are watching this video that are terrible at speaking to women. Yes, I'm talking to you, buddy. Yeah, 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 you. I know you scared of the bitches. Do better, my boy. It is something that he longs and desires to be good at, which I understand completely because he is, well, me. For a long time, I was always told that I was special. What does special mean? I am not sure, but was always told that I would be special and important in the world. The talents that I had were in areas I did not want, but in hindsight, are some of the best talents I have. Being talented in music and even a sport like golf was something that I've taken for granted for 25 years. In high school, I wanted to be accepted by the masses and started trying other sports and activities. While I was pretty decent at other sports and activities, it was nowhere near the raw talent I had for music and golf. Looking back at it, pause, I should have appreciated the gifts that I have and amplified them. Yet. I'm kind of happy that I didn't. The reason being that if I would have capitalized on those talents, then I wouldn't be here talking to you. Maybe I would have been a professional golfer or professional musician and would have never started content creation. One thing that I love about Mob is that when he got an opportunity to get what he always desired and it did not pan out well, he always had a smile on his face. When Emmy asked him out as a dare and confronted the girls for tearing up her book, he learned something about himself. He said, I do have feelings. When I listen, they remind me what's important in my heart. I don't know why it kind of hurts seeing this because Mob really is a nice ass person and continues to get wrong. I think an important lesson from this is that even with his psychic powers, he was not able to win the girl over even though it is unique to him. We are humans, nothing more nothing less. And season 2 episode 3 is an episode that recently meant a lot to me. Seeing Shigo having to choose between exercising the family of ghosts or letting them live was one lesson that I think is underrated. The reason I say that is because this is the first time we see Mob conflicted. The conflict led to something even bigger, which was him realizing he could use his power for evil and that has him worried. While this is a very basic trope in a lot of superhero movies, I think this is more impactful because it revolves around a high school student. Something more applicable could be around more successful people and their ability they have to positively or negatively impact somebody's life. For example, let's say you are more attractive and charismatic, which can lead to making people do what you want. You could abuse that power for yourself and hurt others or use it in a positive light. All right, I'm going to go on a slight little rant just because I can to lock in twin. There are going to be many things that you are not going to be good at, which is perfectly fine. However, it is about continuing to practice and work at getting better at it. Whether it is your health, physique, content creation, etc., you can work at it and get better. Some things will come more naturally than others, while others being more difficult to obtain. It just depends on how badly you want to win and taking the opportunity when it is presented to you. You are the protagonist in your own life and you will control your own destiny. Look forward towards the better days. Be grateful for the people around you and remember to do organic numbers. Word to Larry June. I hope this video helped inspire someone to pursue their dreams and most importantly, focus on the messages of anime. It's been your boy Bugsy and I'm out of here. Peace.